What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Francisco. That's F R A N C Y Triple S C O. Now I'm just playing the tool I love to extra. But, anyways, for today's video, it's just going to be me showcasing the tools that I use on a daily basis. Um, I actually work in a barbershop and film my stuff in a private studio slash garage. But I'm going to be showing you guys the tools that I use on a daily basis and um, explain to you guys the pros and cons and the reason I picked them and why I think they're the best tools for 2021. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's go. First up on our list is my wall code seniors. These are my main clippers that I use on the daily. I use these for my tighter fades, my softer blends, clipper over comb, tapers, debulking the hair, you name it. These are my favorite clippers for 2021 thus far. Um, they also come in different lines like the wall magic clips, uh, the wall sterlings. I do have those before. Then really the only difference is the price and the, the weight of the clipper. These come in in uh, all metal casing, so they are a little bit heavier, but they do have a lot more power in my opinion, and that they cut a little bit closer than the Magic Clips and the Sterlings, just due to the fact that they have um, a fade blade as opposed to the taper, taper blade, which is a little bit more rounded around the tips of the, of the blade. As you can see, it has all the ridges on the sides that you can fit your hands very nicely into. And yeah, these are my favorite clippers for 2021 and for all my clipper needs. These are the clippers that I use. Just to show you all, I got the wall cordless sterling force on the left side here and the wall seniors, but we just a different casing. Shout out to 24K Barbers for hooking it up and uh, giving me the case. If you guys want to grab their products, I will link the description. I will link the link down in the description below so check him out and show the homie some love next up on our list oh, i bit my i bit my lip next up on our list is the babeless pro fx trimmers i got the gold effects on the left here and my favorite one the silver gunmetal kind of looking trimmer babeless pro fx trimmer um i like these over these ones a lot better i feel like these cut a lot closer and they don't snag as much so these are perfect for doing super crispy lineups if you're trying to get the nice straight lineup you know what i'm saying like you did some geometry back in math class you know these are perfect for them especially if you set them zero gap um, most of the clippers that come from babyless are already zero gap so you don't really have to worry about too too much about them but for these ones the only concern i have for these ones is the price price point for one it's not very cheap and they do snag a little bit if you try if you try to, to uh, debulk the hair with them so i highly advise if you're going to be using these for debulking the hair or taking down the hairs when you're doing a fade um i don't advise using them i would use something else like a wall detailer or something but if you're trying to get crisp lineups and super straight lines highly recommend the babyless pro trimmers shout out to the homie that uh sent these to me um you're much appreciated and I am using them every day. So thank you for that. I, I appreciate you. And next up on our list is our shavers. I use two different shavers, um, just depending on my, my mood and the style I'm trying to go for. I got the Andis Profile shavers here on the left and the Bronze Series 9. Funny story about these Bronze Series 9. These are amazing. They will bald out the hair without any problems no matter what hair texture no matter even if it's like super thick and it's like a number one it will take it out like i'm not even i'm not even exaggerating so funny story i got these on kijiji which is like ebay on a us counterpart you know for canada and so i got these on kijiji and the guy selling them was actually he actually won them on a office christmas party i believe i don't know if he knew what he was selling but he sold these to me for 160 dollars and these retail for 300 something so i got it for almost half the price so depending on the look that i'm trying to go for um i like to use either one for my andis profile if i'm trying to go for like a super super sharp 
clean bald fade i like to use my anders profiles i feel like they cut a lot closer but they do have a little bit of resistance on them like your hair got to be super super stubble on the sides for them to be really smooth as opposed to having the bronze series nine even if you have longer hairs on the side it will take it out i would recommend both if you got the money for it just invest in a bronze series nine honestly investing in your tools especially in this kind of work um workspace or in this trade investing in your tools is important next up on my daily tools are my shavers or my oh not shavers razors my razors straight edge razors so i like to use two depending on what i'm doing for uh for just lineups on the hairline and the back of the nape i like to use my elegance elegance straight razor they kind of just pop off like that pretty easy to use you put the blade in close it off you're done right pretty safe and whenever i'm working with the beard i like to switch to my turkish straight razors um these i feel like i have a little bit more control whenever i'm using these i tend to not apply as much pressure which is very important especially when you're working underneath the neck you don't want to make your client bleed all over the place when you're doing these i feel like i can cut a lot closer with these two with the turkish um, straight razors uh, very easy to use so yeah turkish straight razor Last but not the least on my stations are my shears. I've been, so the, sh the shears I have, um, I've been using Kamisori. I'm not sponsored by the way, but you know, if you wanna sponsor the boy, you know what I'm saying? Just hit me up. Anyways, I've been using Kamisori for four years now and I've never really had a problem with them. I actually own three different sizes of my Kamisori shears. Depending on the haircut, I like to switch around with them. Um, I got these Kamisori swords, perfect for, you know, scissor over comb, you know, trying to get down the texture. I do also have a seven inch shears. I, I like to use these for cleaning up, uh, cleaning up the hairs around the head, just get, getting, getting all those flyaway hairs. I can't speak in front of a camera. It's kind of hard. I also have the Kamisori thinners, you know, for thinning out the hair, adding texture, movement to the hair. They're, they're a great set and um, I've never really had a problem with them. Like I said, I've been using them for four years now and um, yeah, and I'm very happy with their with their product. If you got a little bit more money to spend, I suggest, you know, investing in a nice pair of shears. They will last you and they will be nicer to your wrists, you know, so you're not applying as much force and you're not using them as much as you need to. And yeah and that is it for the video um <laughs> and that is it for the video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below those are the tools that i use on a daily of course i've tried a lot of different brands over the years and for me personally for 2021 those are some of the best tools out there so if you guys want to try them out let me know how you guys like it or what you guys don't like about it and um yeah help the homie grow by subscribing to the channel and comment down below share like subscribe do all that jazz um i don't really I, it's my first time speaking to a camera so I'm, I'm still not sure how to end things so hope you guys like the video um stay safe and god bless peace out